Hey, Manny. Good afternoon. Um, or good evening to you over there. Um, you had mentioned uh, earlier on in camp that you were kind of, um, uh, I wanted to figure out what, what was the deal with Andy staying at the same weight? Because he said recently that he's going to stay at 268, and I know weight loss is a big part of the camp this time around. Did anything change? Actually, yes. During camp, um, we we had a, a, a talk, Andy and I, and trying to figure out where he felt at his best. It wasn't necessarily, you know, what uh, being at 255 or being at 260, but where 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 where, where can I get Andy <clears throat> Andy Reese to feel at his best to perform at his best? So we we made the decision to stick to stick to this weight, stick to the the weight that he's walking around in right now, because that's where he feels strong. And you know, if, if, if some of you were able to watch the the uh, the uh, the media workout where he you know. He's still uh, as quick as he's ever been. Uh, the the his footwork, his uh, upper body movement, his um, he hasn't lost any of that. So you know, I don't think the weight really has has anything to do with it. It's just me being able to get him to perform at his best. Gotcha. And yeah, it looks like you know. Diet and nutrition was a big part. You know, he, he said he was eating a lot of salmon. Um, and mm-hmm. his, through the, the pictures and videos earlier on in camp throughout the summer, he did look like he lose weight. So he just kind of put it back on. Is that, mm-hmm. is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, yes, we kind of like put it back on a little bit because we got him to – I got him to drop quite a bit of weight, but he wasn't feeling – he wasn't feeling good. He wasn't feeling strong. He was feeling drained. So that's why it was necessary – for us to 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 make a decision as to the weight. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, obviously, you know when he fought on the big stage, a lot of people, you know, used his the way he looked and his image and kind of body shamed him a little bit. Did, did was that? Mm-hmm. Did you guys feel a, a little bit of pressure to kind of just look a little better? Not at that all. Part of- Quite honestly, no. not at all. Because that, that's let's face it, uh, it doesn't matter how much uh, how much weight Andy. Andy drops, he's never going to end up looking like Anthony Joshua or, or some of these, you know, other fighters. I mean, it is, it is what it is with, with Andy, but, but that doesn't mean he's not in good shape. You know what I mean? He's in great shape physically, mentally. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Manny. Looking forward to the fight. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And our next question today comes from Dan Rafael Rafe- of uh, ESPN. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Hello, Manny. Hello. Uh, one question for you about uh, the, the magnitude of this fight. Obviously, you guys were huge underdogs going into the fight in June. Uh, I guess technically you're still like officially the betting underdog in this fight, but there are you know, a lot of people that are picking Andy to, to, to win this second fight. Um, when, you, when you look back at boxing history, a lot of people have made the comparison of this fight. Is, is Andy Ruiz... Uh, you know, for real, or is he basically another Buster Douglas kind of opponent uh, as far as, you know, and he didn't have a rematch with Tyson, you know what I mean, he lost in his first defense. Yeah. Um, how do you feel when you hear people uh, going into this fight say, oh, he, he's just another Buster Douglas? Uh, it's kind of, I mean, he, he's definitely not another Buster, uh, another, uh, Buster Douglas. Uh, you know, Andy's in shape, and you'll be able to see that come Saturday night. But we also have to be we have to be real, right? We have to be realist and understand that 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 Anthony Joshua also wants to win this fight. You know, he's also in great shape and he wants to, you know, recover what he want recover what he once had. And so therefore, you know, you can expect a great fight. At the end of the night, you know, may the best man win. But you know, we got we got to keep it real and and know that hey, listen, we're we're gonna go out there to try to and do our best to try to win this fight. But we got another guy we got the guy on the other side that also wants to win too so you know i believe it's going to be a great fight i believe in mike boxer i believe that uh andy will win once again but you know but we have to be prepared for for everything and anything and know that that uh you know anthony joshua wants to win just as bad when you guys uh arrived in uh saudi arabia for this fight how do you think that uh 
not just Andy, but really yourself, your whole team, how have you all adjusted, Andy in particular, adjusted to the differences in whether it's the food, whether it's the climate, whether it's the time, it, the, the time change, how has that been? It's, it's been, obviously, you guys coming from California, uh, much different as far as the time change goes than it would be for like Joshua, who's much closer coming from the UK. But can you just talk a little bit about the adjustments that have to get made because of all the, the different things that it is compared to fighting in America? Well, we've pretty much been here for two weeks, so it's been going very, very well as far as adjusting and and the food. I mean, we we brought our own chef, you know, that's been cooking for for uh, Andy on a on a daily basis. So so that's helped quite a bit. And um, and, I'm, and as you said, the time change. I mean, we've been dealing with that from uh, right before we actually got on the plane to come over. That's something to, that we started working on prior to making our flight to, to Saudi Arabia. So things have been going well. You know, the, the time change, obviously, it, 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 it plays a big role. But I believe that we've been, we've been able to adjust quite, quite well. One other thing, uh, I, when, when Manuk was asking the question about the weight, did you say that, is it, that Andy wants to come in about 268? Was that what you guys decided on? I, I missed that part. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right around that weight. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, all right. I thank you very much, uh, Manny. Good luck to you guys on Saturday. I appreciate the time. Thank you. And our next question today comes from Kevin. I will.